Canadian, which is hello there, boys and girls. So, <laughs> he's 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 street, and he doesn't stream. He does videos for for YouTube. So, uh, and I, I recently found him, and he makes me laugh. And he's he's a young guy. So, if you guys ever like a really good uh, northern Saskatchewan accent, you just let me know, and I'll direct you to his channel. <laughs> he cracks me up. Hello, hello. I got your message, Tanya, and I will send it to where you want me to send it. So, and I got your binding on. Hello, 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 Sharon. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Rita. Hello, Zella. Hello, Sharon. Hello, Nancy. Hello, Amy. Hello, Pat and Chris and Kim. Hello, hello. So I pieced a few of my bits and bobs here. I took inspiration from this panel that was gifted to me, and I just kind of pulled from my stash. I did some blacks, I did some grays, I did some oranges, did some yellows, did some golds, did nothing too crazy. I didn't go for white, because there's really no, I mean, it's more tones of cream and tan than white, so I didn't really go with white. I mean, maybe, maybe that could be, a tone to white but I didn't really pick a lot of whites okay so there is a few that have some whites in it when I because I pieced my fabrics and because I am I am a frugal person I will piece things to make it fit within the half hexy ruler so I can make it work by golly so I pieced a few things this was a backing to a um, I think a landscape quilt so I just put the two strips together okay just the two strips together and I should be able to get a couple of half hexies out of that However, I'm going, so. Hello, hello, Allison. Good morning, happy Saturday. It's a cute panel, isn't it? So yeah, I pieced a few things. So this one is pieced and looks, and I did stack it because it is directional. I did stack the houses one on top of the other. I've pieced this bit together to cut some half hexes out of, pieced this bit together to get some half hexes out of. I've got a few more here that I've, uh, I think I could have got one out of this just by the hair of my chinny chin chin was one gonna fit out of there. So I have to press that. This one was a bit of black fabric that I had. That was the only bit. And I'm like, well, I'd like to use it, so why not? So I just added some grays to make sure I can get a half hexy out of that. So I'm going to press that sucker. And then here, 
Though I know I have a bigger chunk here, but I'm trying to utilize my fabric and give it a different uh, depth and dimension when it comes to some of these cuts. So this is actually four strips sewn together. And then I'm gonna do some cuts to get that out and get some half hexes out of there. Good afternoon. Good. Hello, everybody. Happy to see you. Well, welcome, welcome. Big hugs to you. Big loves to you. Happy you're here. We had an amazing Thanksgiving weekend last weekend. The turkey was phenomenal. Let me tell you, you should check out the Home and Hearth channel to see how we put that turkey together. We just didn't show you how we ate it because it was all over our face. It was good. It was very tasty. Um, so anyways, I piece, piecing fabric together here and just, just making it work. I'm busting my stash. There's a few other pieces here. The oranges aren't big enough. I'm not going to get a half hexy out of that. So I want to piece some of these together and I can flip and flop and, and make it work for me. I got, I got fabric I can add. It's only going to add some character to the whole project, right? So if I put that one there, cut one out, I think that's good enough. It's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I got some tans here. I got some browns here. I got a little bit of this um, wood grain fabric from some project. Remember, remember when we did the baskets and I didn't like that yellow? I like the yellow here. I mean, I use it, but I kind of like it. Where was it? I think I think I saw it on the pumpkin. On the pump, was it the pumpkin? Maybe not. Yeah, I kind of saw it around here in the tones of the pumpkin. I may or may not use it. What do you guys say? So you got, I'm using what I have. I don't, I don't have like, you know, oodles and oodles of dollars to go just buy new fabric all the time. So I'm taking my chunks of bits and, and making some half hexes and, and having some fun. So yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. And if we don't get it done today, we'll finish it up next week, I promise. I think, I think so. That's why I grabbed it out. I'm like, it kind of, it's got a, that little tone to it. Plus that little kind of popper of, uh, you know, black or green or something like that. Pumpkin pie's all done. I was, <laughs> I was quickly making a pumpkin pie. <laughs> and I, I, as I set the timer for the second time around, I'm like, oh, oh this is going to be after we start stream. Munchkin, could you handle that? He's like, yeah, no problem. So he just gave me the thumbs up. <clears throat> Oh, wow. Well, thank you, Gwenny. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. No, there's no green. There's no green in this, except for the ruler. Do you count that as green or yellow? What do you count that as? <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Hello, hello. Happy everybody's here. We're so happy you're here today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what do you count that as? Do you count that as yellow or, or green? So, I don't know, you tell me. Yeah, and I got just a bunch of different fabric. I don't have a lot of stuff because some of them have just been donated and that's all they took out of it was like little strips. I did get some gray. I have some stripey bits here that's a big chunk. And I got some leftover bits from our, um, you know, Halloween projects that we've done. So that's about all the only white that I've introduced is when it had something to do with the Halloween already. And then we've got some of this botanical black left over from another project. And then I've got some tans that match too. So, you know, we got, we got stuff to play with. That's for sure. A neon. Yes. A neon green, green, green. <laughs> well, I can't help you there, Sass. I had to use green at some point. <laughs> oh, I was going to change out my blade. One second here. This is a beautiful uh, quilt project here behind me that Pop and I designed last year for Halloween. Hold on, get it out of the way. Uh, it was based off of a lot of free patterns that were out there that we incorporated into something beautiful as well as designed the centerpiece for it. So that was all his creation. Isn't that beautiful? It's really, it's, it's, uh, it's one of my favorites, absolute favorites. So I did get the binding sewn on one side. I just have to flip and stitch it for the other. I, it's black and then cream with gold. And then I've got black with gold around. So it's like three different uh, types of uh, color on the binding. So hello, 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 hello. All right. So I was going to change my blade out. Sorry. Oh, 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 thank you. I, I missed it, honey. Sorry, completely. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you so much. Big hugs to you. 
Look at all that lint under there. Gotta clean that off. That's what your shirt's for, right? Rooker. What's a rooker? <laughs> okay, that's the old blade. We're just gonna put that. I have a little dish back here that I'll deal with. It's got some masking tape next to it, so um, I know I won't uh, hurt myself. <laughs> there we go. Take one out of the pack. Shut it. Make sure it's only one. You'd be very surprised sometimes when you go to grab a blade and you think there's only one, but there's two, and then you end up with some really weird cuts. And you're like, why is this really shredding? <laughs> well, now you know why. <laughs> Do -do. And I put the little screw right back on, and we have ourselves a brand new sharp blade. Mm-hmm. 408. Oh my gosh, really? Oh my god, you're such a trooper. Hello, Jackie. Hello, King. I missed you guys. We missed you too. Hello, Susie. Mm-hmm. Oh, congratulations to Peter Heather. Oh my goodness. I'm so I'm so proud of him. He's not even my kid. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> He's doing awesome at school. Fantastic. So I have a little bit of juice and uh, a fresh cup of tea. I literally just made it before the, the countdown, so. No way, Judy. I don't believe you. <laughs> I'm, this has, that's just awesome news. That's, uh, you know, when, when our kids succeed, it's like, you know, yay. We molded you. Kick in the bum enough times. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, like I said, I'm just kind of cutting some half hexes and I'm going to arrange them like they were the braid. And so I'm kind of going to braid. So you don't have to worry about how many, if it's going to fit the right size or whatever. It doesn't really matter. You can design it your own way. So if you have your panel and someone's at the door, um, oh, might be delivery, dude. Do you want to get it or do you want me to? Okay, Pop's got it. Um, so, if you wanted to, you could design it in a way that the braid of the half hexes is coming up the, the top or up the side and then the top and then down and then across the bottom. Or you could do it so it was just up one side and across the top. Or you can do it so it was down one side and across the bottom. Or if you really just wanted to make something super duper long, then you can do it on the bottom and the top. You want to make it a little bit wider as a, like a, for a throw or something like that, then just do the sides. I mean, it's completely up to you. You can bulk this out any way you like, right? So we're really only adding, you know, I guess by the time we kind of trim things off, maybe seven to eight inches all the way around. So that makes a really nice wall hanging, right? Mm -hmm. And that's super cute, isn't it? I love this. Absolutely love it. So like I said, white wasn't a main. Oh, actually, I can show you, Linda. You want to see it? It's, where did it go? <laughs> I finished it. I need to trim, but I did finish it. Do you want to, hold on, I'll wait to see, wait to see if you want to see it. <laughs> I don't want to force it down your throat. But yeah, that's, that's the panel we're working with and we're going to have some fun, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, doesn't it, Vanessa? Doesn't it? Oh, you do? You want to see it, Linda? Okay, hold on. Hold on, I'll grab it. I'll grab it. All right. Hold on. Actually, I have a couple other show and shares. Um, uh, I know Tanya doesn't mind me showing off hers, uh, but Pat Rem, I have two of yours done. If you are okay with it, I can show those two right now. Just, I'm giving you time. Okay, hold on, where's the, uh, where's the cathedral? Okay, that's Pat's Pat. That's Tanya's, oh, it was underneath. Okay, I did that in the wrong order. <laughs> okay, here. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Finished, complete, complazzo. Ta-da. 
I finished it. I'm just going to turn it all the way around so you can see it. So there's that side. It took some time, way longer than I anticipated. It was probably at least another eight to 10 hours finishing this off. And I still have trimmings. I still have trimmings to do. Okay. Oh. Oh. Sorry. And I think I only repeated two colors, which was the bright blue, because I love bright blue in Christmas. So, I'm like, there's a few little holes here. I can see you. Can you see me? But I'll just stitch those closed. I don't care. I'm proud of it. For my first one, hot diggity darn, man. I'm, I'm pretty pleased. I'm pretty pleased by that. And it's, it's, it doesn't need any batting. It's got some weight to it already for the size. It's gorgeous. Like, just a snuggle wuggle. You know, good book, hot cup of tea next to the fireplace or something. I know. I'm just, I'm so proud of it. I really am. I really am. So did, did Pat say it was okay? Did I miss that? Yes, it's okay. Okay, all right. Whew, awesome. Okay. I got two of Pat's coming up. Here, we'll do the first one that I quilted up. <coughs> Super cute and adorable. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You may not get this back. <laughs> you will. I'm just kidding. I want to make sure it's the right way. Okay, here we go. Okay. So, snowflakes in gray or swirls, but snowflakes look so pretty on this one. Isn't that adorable? And then I'll show you the back. Beautiful. And then I chose a different snowflake stitch out for the second one. I know, so cozy, right? Oh my jeez. And it's a really good size too. And with 80-20 batting, it's gonna be so lovely to cuddle with, okay? And then the second one here is a different snowflake, really detailed. It took uh, almost an hour to stitch across the row and the row's not very big because I went directional. I'm trying to find the right way here. I probably have it upside down and I'm really sorry it's upside down, but, oh. Mm. Yeah, it's a little snowman. It's a little snowman. It was a little snowman. Um, and here's the, the second one. Sorry, this was called Winter Fun. And I love the backing. I love it with that big tree. It's gorgeous. And Pat did a beautiful job. Fantastic, Pat. Fantastic. And that's with a light, light gray. And it just, the, the snowflake detail is just unbelievable. It's so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I know the blues are beautiful, aren't they? I think I might have it the right way. Oh, I did. I did have it the right way because I had this. I was trying to direction it this way. And cute. You can't really, I mean, you can see some of the stitch out on the back, but it's really more, you can really see those details of those snowflakes right in there. It's just so gorgeous. I just love it. It's my favorite snowflake stitch. It just takes a long time to stitch out. And there's a lot of thread, but it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. All right, <clears throat> let me fold this up. And then I'll show, uh, fin I finished Tanya's off, which she was a winner of her Cricut Courthouse Steps quilt. And uh, it was a long on Wednesday video. So I finished that all off. It's all with this beautiful black binding. So I just have to trim those up and get those uh, mailed off to Miss Pat. And then here, do, do, do. There we go. Oh, sorry. And then I'll show you the stitch out that we did on it. I'll show you there and then we'll put it under the, the overhead so you could really see the details. Okay, it's a gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is, it's beautiful. Pop's hands are busy. <laughs> There we go. Yes, I, lo I love this. This is one of my very, very favorite stitch outs. Um, 
it's got a bumblebee and a dragonfly and two butterflies and then a big old flower and some leaves. It's just, it's one of my favorite. It just, to me, it just speaks so much nature. And then with all the color that you've incorporated on this side, it just makes those bumblebees and butterflies and everything just kind of stand right out with their own uniqueness. Like, isn't it gorgeous? Love it. So beautiful. Yeah, she picked a nice bright green thread and I think that looks stunning on this like, uh, you know, tanny marble sort of uh, backing that I have, wide back that I have. So yes, absolutely good. Beautiful, good and beautiful. Very pleased with it. All right, that's enough of me bragging. <laughs> well, it's bragging about Pat stuff too. <laughs> Which I'm happy to brag about. Sorry, I knocked some stuff over with my enthusiasm of flipping fabric around. <laughs> oh, thank you guys, I appreciate that, I really do. I certainly have a heck of a lot of fun. <laughs> I, we have a good time, that's for sure. And I can say Walt's got magic, so <laughs> I'll take it. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is a half hexi ruler, and this this is not mine. This was just lent to me for however long I needed it. I'm sure she'll ask for it back when she wants it uh, from Jo Marie. And uh, it's a half hexi signature charm shapes. I don't know whatever that is, but uh, Missouri Star Coat Company uh, by Natalie Dawn, and uh, that's what we're using today. Mm hmm. I, I've been very busy. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. I finished off another Elsa quilt and a uh, pirate treasure quilt. And that was so cute. That was so fun. On the pirate uh, treasure one, I put a meander and then put uh, X's here and there along the meander where they could see it on the front fabric. So they could go and check. For, you know what I mean? Like it was just like, it was cute. It was cute. I think it turned out nice. And there's no power. Oh no, what? Why no power, Deborah? Did you not pay the bill? <laughs> uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Nancy. That, yeah, they, they, uh, Pat did a fabulous job on hers. It was so beautiful, pieced. Beautifully pieced. Pirate quilt, do you still have it? I do. Do you want do you want to see it? Well, it's, it's like little kid fabric uh, uh, print, but I can certainly show you, Deanne. It is. It, she, she wasn't coming to pick it up until next Monday. Oh, no, sorry, this Monday or Tuesday or something like that. But, yeah, I do. Let me just cut this fabric and I'll go grab it, okay? I can show you the Elsa ones, too. One was a long on Wednesday, but the other one I didn't show. Uh, but I, I, I'm sure I can show you. I'm sure she wouldn't mind. I don't think the people they're giving it to watch the show, so we're all right. <laughs> okay, all right. Let me go grab it. Hold on. Un momento. I'll grab them all. It's all in the same bag, so you just may have to see them all now. This is a big show and share today. <laughs> Her bag. So here's the pirate one. Okay. And of course, I trim up my quilts for all my customers. So here it is with a meander, and then I put an X up here where it crosses over on the meander just perfectly. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Amy. Okay, see, so there's an X there, and then I have another one over here different shape where it crosses over and then I have another one down here near the bottom somewhere. Hold on. No, see, oh, there it is. It's in the green. There it is. Isn't that? And then it's got this cutest little fabric on the back side. So that's why I thought a little meandering gold. And then, yeah, yeah. Why not, right? 
have some fun with it. She said, do what I wanted. So that's why, that's why I thought would be uh, really cute. So yes, we're happy to have Gwenny back. She was just hanging out in the, in the watching last week. She couldn't ta talk. I know, didn't that, it's really cute. Okay. And you might as well see the Elsas while they're here. <laughs> there we go, there's one. Just do the close up cam for that so you can see it. And I highlighted them and the braid and the swirl. I put swirls in the background where the tree is and then highlighted the tree and then just kind of did a back and forth and just went, and went around the more details of the dresses and stuff like that. So, yeah, Isn't that cute? And then it has super spark. They were sparkles everywhere after I cut it on my table. I'm like, my goodness, <laughs> I had sparkles in the house. <laughs> sparkles everywhere. Here, and I'll show you the other one. I did, that was the one we filmed for Long Arm Wednesday, but uh, not all of it though. And this was this is the other one. So, and you can really see the stitch out on the back side. So I'll show you. I know, super cute, right? I know it's upside down, but you get the gypsy. And then I put swirls all the way around because I didn't want to put snowflakes. And then I just highlighted the highlighted uh, spots of the girls. Uh, you can, oops, that's, I'm glad I flipped that over. Um, I have to tidy that up. And then just highlight it around the girls. For some, that's a gray thread. That's weird. It's okay, I fix, I fix. <laughs> Christmas is coming. <laughs> there we go. Put that off to the side so I can make sure to fix that one. Somehow gray thread got stitched up under there, but I don't want to pull it because then I might break the other thread. So that's not good. So I'll just wait. I'll wait to, to deal with that till after the stream. So here, I'll just hang it here. All right, we got work to do, people. <laughs> now there's lollygaggling stuffs. Oh, I, that one I didn't have to add so much to. Oh, I did. Hmm. I was hoping to get some this way. Well, I guess not. Hmm. It's okay. I kind of like this one better. Uh, that's uh, Pops and I's project from last year there, Tracy. We did it as a uh, quilt along. And that will go to the scrap pile and I'll use that for something else. Let me tell you, I'm just gonna pop it on the floor right now. I'm gonna grab something. <laughs> Good too. Well, to make it, we're gonna add some half hexy ruler, uh, half hexy cuts to around this panel. We're gonna make it like a braid. We're gonna braid it. I haven't decided whether we're doing two sides or all sides. We'll see. We'll see how much I like it. Oh, 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 what was it? Uh, I made a Halloween quilt, bought blizzard fleece for backing, yes or no for batting in the middle. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think so there, Jackie. I don't think so. What did Diane say? Uh, I've used fleece for back. Yeah, I'm at the back. Yeah, see, yeah I'm, I'm with you there. I'm with you. Uh, you know, that's a good question, Allison. Is it pop? Mm-hmm. Oh, he says he might have taken everything down. Oh, he has not. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Misheard. Apologize. All right, let's create a couple more here. I like these two oranges together. I think they'd make a couple of nice flippy floppy ones. We could do some one there and one there, you know, more of one color and another. Might be able to get three out of that. We can try. All patterns should be in the videos. Okay, well, that's good. That's good to know. Yo, 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 it's good to know. 
And we can sew these two different oranges together. Is that going to be enough or are we going to have to add? Yeah, no, we're good. We're good there. And then we've got this chunk of fabric. What do we need extra to make that go? Just a smidge. We could always use that. There we go. So we got the next few things we're going to sew. We're making trouble. So what we're making. Hold on. I got to, I got to, this is all, you can't see nothing, can you? Here we go. We're adding stuff to that. That's what we're doing. <laughs> and I was doing a big show and share at the beginning. Showing and sharing everybody's work. Alright. Bobbin should be good. It's full. My top is full. Munchkin made sure of that last weekend. I showed off the cathedral windows too. It looks amazing. I'm so happy with it. I really am. You know, you really sometimes just have to be, um, you, you, have, you have to be happy with your own stuff. I mean, you do, you do. You know, would I give that to anybody? Because I know it's not perfect and I probably could have done a bit of a better job, maybe clipping the corners of my fabric before turning it right side out so I made sharper points. Like, what else could I have done to make that project a bit better? You know, because there was a little, you know, I mean, I'm, you know, there's, there's certain things I could have definitely have tweaked. So, but now that I know, and knowing is half the battle, so... Sorry? Oh, thank you, Anonymous. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. A oh, big hugs to you. Oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Big hugs. Oh. Squishy, squishy. Sorry, fat head in the way. And yes, I got my hair cut. I feel like a new person. So good. It just got done yesterday. Pop says it's a little too short in the front, but it'll go. I can't make it grow back. <laughs> Speed. <laughs> All right, let's sew these oranges together. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I forget, is that normal so mode? All right, that's a bit ridiculous. Let's go somewhere in between, shall we? There we go. Happy medium. <laughs> All right, then we need to press these and cut some of these, and then we'll cut some a lot of the whole fabric. I just want to get the piece ones kind of out of the way. Oh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I did my ears lowered. Nope, nope, that's too expensive. <laughs> At least the haircut's only like 40 bucks. That's not bad. Thank you, thank you, Pat. All right, those are some pretty oranges together. I like those. We've got those. Uh, we can probably cut definitely one out of that. Let's see what we were going to do. We have a couple of pieces we could probably put together. Let's wait till the end for that one. Because we have some other colors here. We might be able to chop up from. Oh, 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 oh what's this? This one wasn't big enough, that's for sure. Let's put that one on there. There we go. Hello, Miss Bernadette. How's Dublin today? Well, this afternoon, really. You know, you've already been enjoying your day, hopefully. It's a pretty day here. It's uh, a, a, uh, the wind is a little up. The leaves have changed dramatically over the past, you know, two weeks. Um, lots of leaves everywhere. The whole driveway, you can't even see the driveway anymore. It's just full of leaves. So we got to go out and deal with that somehow. Or 
some way. So, um, but uh, yeah, we had frost last night, a good thick layer of frost. I had to zip out to the store first thing this morning and I had to let the, the car warm up for a good five minutes before I could, could see, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's, that's for the normal little, uh, you know, little corner um, cut, haircut place is 40 bucks. So, well, you're looking at like, it was at 32 plus tax or what is it? 20 something, sorry, 20 something plus tax. And then, you know, you got to get a little tip. So, you know. Hello, Miss Donna Faye. My long armor just finished my quilt. It's been on display twice now. <gasps> Last week it was backdrop during Zoom meeting. Today it's hanging outside for Guild Hang Your Quilt Day. Theme is Halloween fall. Oh, wonderful, Donna Faye. I can't wait to see it. Are you going to share it with us? Congratulations. That's going to be so proud. Twenty pounds, but twenty pounds converted into Canadian dollars is about forty. <laughs> no, no joke. <laughs> no, 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 no lie. <laughs> All right. Uh, I thought I had some other random oranges over here. I do, I do. I don't know if I'm going to be able to piece some of these together though. But um, here, we'll put that off to the side. Let's let's putter at this. Let's iron these guys and cut some half hexes out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, do the conversion rate, that's about what it is. So that's not too far off, really. Okay, so I have a few there. What do I got here? We're gonna need a lot. One, two, three, four, five. That there. It's not going to our wedding. Oh well, have, well, have fun, Janet. Have fun. Have a great time. Have a wobbly pop for me. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Vanessa. Your check's in the mail, honey. No, <laughs> kidding. That's really nice of you to say. I appreciate that. I'm just me. My mama said, always just be yourself. So that's all I've ever been. <laughs> and that's why some people take me or leave me because I don't know any other way. <laughs> just besides to be me. Oh, these are going to make some nice half hexes. They're going to make some nice colorful pieces. Now, I don't want all the pieced ones together, right? And we're going to kind of sp spread them out between the whole pieces that we can cut. And hopefully we can get some good, good amount out of our piecey bits because I love using my stash for pretty things. Now, I actually, I was going to show you. Where's my, where's my ruler? Uh-oh. Losing my stuff already. Okay. All right. So, as you know, with a hexi ruler, can we get the overhead cam for this for just a moment, please, my love? Okay. So, when working with half hexes, you can cut your fabrics out, okay, here, like here, and you can sew them in many, many different ways, okay? So, here's, you could do it this way and this way and then trim up nice and square against your project. You could go this way, this way, this way. And again, squaring up against your project, you're cutting all this off and this goes onto your project and then this comes here. So you get some weird kind of, I don't know, tumbler shapes if you like. Uh, there's uh, like, and there's of course you can make rows with them as I was showing earlier. The first one there, you can add however way you want to add your hexes, okay? There's many, many different ways to make it happen, okay? 
So be, be creative in what you're doing, okay? See? You can make it just a, a beautiful any way you like, okay? So be, have fun with it. There's also where you can take a, do I have it here? I think that was it, okay. You can take like a triangle of fabric and it would be sewn to one side leveling you out as you go down or up your project, okay? I found if you wanted to do that with a half hexi, you're gonna have to cut a five and a half, a five and a half, a, sorry, a five by five inch square fabric on the diagonal. And it, I know it's gonna give you more of a triangle piece, but it, you can still square it up as you go. So that's completely up to you, okay? And you could also do that on the other side as well when you're adding fabric to your panel piece or what have you or because it's usually end, about the end of the part of the quilt that's where the, the same as if you were to do a tumbler block okay all right i just wanted to show that that's all there's many different ways Probably I won't only get one out of that, but we'll be able to piece some of it together with some of our other stuff that we have going on here. All right, let's press this gray and we'll cut some more of the solids that we have happening here. And maybe we can sew just a little bit together so we can kind of get an idea of what we have happening. What if you cut the hexi in half? You could, you could, you could completely. Like that's, that's definitely, you would even have more uh, of something to work with and a visual piece besides this triangle. That's that's a fantastic idea, Pat. I didn't even think of that. Good going, girl. Good girl. See, and that's why we make such a great team here. <laughs> you teach me as much as I'm, we're all here to teach and to learn for each other. I guess that's what I'm more trying to say. So, fantastic idea. You could totally, because there is actually even a line here to cut one in half if you wanted to, so you could. Would certainly give you more of an option to bulk it out and have more colors, that's for sure, to be seen, instead of that just that little uh, selected piece, right? So. Let's scoot this over. <laughs> okay. Get one here, and then we can flip that and definitely get another set there. So that would be four, and we can probably use this strip of fabric with maybe some gray when we get a couple bits cut out of this one. There's going to be some gray left over, so let's, uh, let's, have some, let's have some fun with it, right? That's the whole point. Have some fun. Design. Design with your stash. Okay and try and utilize your fabric as much as possible and give you nice, clean, straight edges. Okay. All right, put that in the pile. Of course, we've got a lovely straight line right here, so we can use that to our benefit. Right there. Hope everybody's having a great weekend so far. Like I said, we had a fantastic turkey dinner. It was fabulous last weekend. Pop and I worked like little crazy horse people just trying to get everything done between the two of us. <laughs> Munchkin wasn't feeling the greatest. He'd taken a spill down the stairs a few days beforehand and it was really starting to kind of, you know, hurt him. His, he was hurting all over, so. He slipped and fell down a few steps, and we all know how that feels, right? So, so we were concerned for him, but just said, hey, you know, just chillax. We, we got this. Pop and I have always, always had teamwork. That's what brought us together to begin with, so. Okay. 
Hang on. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you, Kelly. I'll be hugs to you. What you doing, girl? <laughs> what you doing? Appreciate that. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. Turkey roasting video on home and harvest, home and hearth was enjoyable. <laughs> I hope Munchkin's back. Yeah, he's he was kind of sore all over. He was uh, back in uh, his hip. So, yeah, he's on his last few weeks of instruction. We're very excited for him. He's he's got a promising future ahead of him. We're just so just so happy for him. You know, it's nice to have something to look forward to on a daily basis and and to be proud of one's work and stuff like that. That's all we've ever wanted for him, right? He could easily have just lived in the basement and done nothing, and but that's we're not helping him as a parent that way, so we have to encourage him to do something he wants to do and is proud to do and, you know, all those things complications of parenthoods. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> no worries. I was like, Harvest? No, no, that's not it. I always keep calling it the wrong way, all the wrong name, Allison, so trust me. <laughs> it's like, wait a second here. <laughs> More scrap for the scrap pile. Can make some more stuff with that. I know we can. Do do do. Hello, Robin. Hello, Lisa. How you doing? What happened with Munchkin? Crazy. Oh, he um, uh, he he fell down the stairs. He took a tumble down the stairs. Why do I keep getting something fluffy? Oh, there is something fluffy on there. That's why. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, apparently this does not count as a seam ripper because I have not, well, I have sewn things, but I'm not taking apart anything I've sewn. For some reason, there's batting still stuck to this project. <laughs> it's not, a, I'm just pulling a thread. <laughs> it does not count as a seam ripper. <laughs> I don't know what you're looking at. There we go. See? I had to take the floofs out. The floofs and the threads of the floofs. <laughs> hey, Becky, how's it going? <laughs> oh, I may have to turn on the fan. It's getting warm in here. Hello, Sun. Hold on. Son Inna? Son Inna? From Brazil. Hello, hello. Welcome. Hello, hello. Yeah, he's doing fine. He's doing fine now. We just, that was after, uh, just before, a uh, couple days before Thanksgiving, he took a tumble. So we didn't bug him during um, making of the turkey and the stuff like that. Just, we did it all ourselves. Just, just stay here, you know. Here's our Thanksgiving dinner, and, and thank you for all that he's done for himself and for us. You know, like, he's he's tried hard in school, and he's done very well, and we're proud of him. And that's and that's for himself as well as for us, right? He wants to make us proud, too. Yeah, and he already has his internship lined up, so we're totally stoked. We're totally stoked. In fact, his teacher said he... If he it wasn't just for the regulation of this this last few weeks, that he could be on his internship right now. But hello, Miss Teresa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're very very proud of him. Very very. We even celebrated with burritos last night. <laughs> Well, Pop and him had burritos. I had soft tacos. <laughs> oh, 
I don't that got that kind of expensive budget there, Uta. <laughs> no champagne here. He's doing much better. He was moving much better the past couple of days. So thank you, everybody. Appreciate that. I will give him your well wishes. I promise. I just want him to be happy, Wendy. That's all I ask. That's all I ask is for him to be happy with what he has in his life and his goals and, you know, where he wants to be in the future. And we just want him better off than what we were, you know? Like, that's that's the whole, not necessarily the whole point of children, but, you know, when, when, we, when we have them and we want them to grow and be wise and everything else like that, that's, we want them to be better than ourselves. Isn't that the whole point? Well, at least I think so. I'm probably wrong, but you know, I'm sure somebody will tell me. Mm -hmm. Fake champagne, sparkling. Oh, I was just gonna say like ginger ale. I got ginger ale. We can totally rock the ginger ale, Helen. <laughs> Uh, that's what we had for dinner, soft talk. Oh, yeah, it was really good, actually. It was a place called, hold on, Quesadillas? It's an, it, not necessarily a new place, but it's been, it's been around for about a year in Orangeville. And uh, Munchkin was really, really craving a burrito for some particular reason, even though we just had, like, uh, taco fries the night before. So I was kind of surprised he wanted that. But I'm like, okay. So I said, well, I don't really want... A burrito what else is on the menu and I wasn't at home at the time so we were on a phone conversation and then he they put they had the menu all ready for when I got home so I could pick and choose and stuff like that so yeah I picked the soft tacos with meat and one lettuce tomato guacamole uh, cheese and red onion so but there was all sorts of things you could add in like beans and um like refried beans and rice and I don't know. There's a whole bunch of, whole bunch of stuff, jalapenos and other peppers and all sorts of sauces. So it actually turned out really good. I was, I was actually quite, quite happy with what my dinner turned out to be. So, hello, Miss Penny. What's going on? What's going? How's your, <laughs> your, 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 your snowy, your snowy thitty? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not laughing. I'm sorry, Penny. That's very mean. Don't be so mean, Laura Don't be so mean. So how's the snow in Calgary, Penny? <laughs> Did you have to shovel? Uh, that wasn't going to fit. Look how snug that was. And there was just, even it's just uh, about a quarter, but a quarter is just going to throw everything out. It's going to get rough. <laughs> so we're moving that up here where we can get that bit included here in this beautiful fabric. All right, let me just cut a few more and then we'll start sewing some together. I just wanna make sure I have a little bit of a, a, a selection to choose from. I'm very picky, you know, people. I could, I could turn the ruler around. Or I could struggle. <laughs> it's what I'm known for. And a brand new blade, so everything is nice and smooth. We've got some more strips to trim out. All right, let's cut these, and then we'll sew some. Okay. Uh, yes, the shovels are out being used. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear such sad news. So sorry. So, so sorry. I do have rotary <laughs> cutting mat too. <laughs> I'm stubborn. What can I say? <laughs> so much stuff on the table already. I don't want to OCD people. Why? Thank you. You got to use them. I I, I don't want to like this 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 stuff. All I'm not saying it costs me money, but it costs somebody money and. They obviously gave it to me to use, and um, some of it, not all of it, obviously, but, um, and I'm very thankful. 
for the collection of fabric to be able to work with to make such beautiful projects like this in a very scrappy fashion. Thank you very much. I just got done yesterday. Pop was a little, uh, it's short. <laughs> yep, but it, it, that's what happens. When one, one gets a haircut, it gets short. So, yeah, she got a little excited, the, the hair cutter. But I know it's going to grow back. I'm not too concerned. It's only hair. He didn't marry me for my hair, so it's okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure, honey. <laughs> <laughs> no sweater. Nope, no sweater. He's wearing a t-shirt and shorts. No sweater yet. No sweater yet. I've had to wear a sweater. I've actually had to wear my winter jacket a couple of times. Oh, that one's going to be too shy. Oh, maybe not. Oh, here, we've got to cut him, cut him differently here. Okay. Um... I had to wear my winter jacket in two, three mornings this week. I guess it was Thursday, Friday. Thursday, Friday morning I had to wear my winter jacket because it was frost on the windshield. And uh, you could totally see your breath. And then I'm like, I need some light gloves. Not some, not mitts. Not mitts for when it's super, super cold. I need some lighter gloves or some lighter mitts. So, and I've made knit ones, but they don't... They don't block the that chilly little wind sometimes. It goes right through unless you line the mitts. So And it's my the fingers are actually is what's getting cold. So alright, let's uh let's move our panel. What we're trying to do is we're adding a half hexy uh, pieces together to go around this beautiful panel of my scrappy fabrics that I think go with this. So that's that's what we're starting to putter at right here right now. And I do have a bunch of fabrics to work with, so I'm not. I, but I do like scrappy as well. I could have just chosen three or four colors and stayed with those, but I wanted to be able to piece some beautiful things together to show you that it, everything doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, you know, and I have a bunch of here to also to, to cut up. So we'll cut those up in a little bit. Let's sew some of these together. Okay. Oh yeah, there's been snow in some parts of the States, Michigan. Uh, what else is in New Hampshire? There was a couple, someone mentioned earlier. Um, hold on, I was watching uh, uh, Mr. Timber Anew on Twitch earlier and he said uh, one of his uh, fans lives out, lives in um, um, not Michigan, uh, Montana, no. Mo yeah, well, I guess it would be Montana because that's just below Alberta, isn't it? So. Right here, okay. So you start off with one piece and you're going to sew on the underside, okay? And of course, this doesn't make a complete seam. I understand that. I know it's, 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 not, it's not like a rocket science or anything like that. Then you're going to take the bottom of the next one, scoot it up to here, sew it on. Take the bottom of the next one, scoot it up to here, sew it on. Take the bottom of the next one, scoot it up to here, sew it on. And you're making a lovely braid with flat edges so you don't have to allow for those triangles to be able to add or make it nice and square to add up to a project. You're making it yourself with the half hexes, okay? So, and of course you can rearrange this any way you like, any color tones you like, whatever project you're working on, you can mix and tone, you got two or three colors, it would really look like a braid at that point in time if you had about the three colors, because three three fabrics make, make a braid or three strands make a braid, right? Two is twist. So this is nice and flat. You don't have have to waste any of your fabric. You're pretty much the only thing you might be wasting and not even really I think is it a considering of a waste is the chopping of the bottom here to make it flat to the next project or to the to the border and this can just go to scrappy bin. So if if you wanted to this would be the two fabrics down here are the ones you don't mind getting chopped off. Maybe those are the ones you have the most of. 
say you have like 20 of them and only two of the others, you use you know, these two fabrics to be able to lop off to go to the next. So my goal is to make this braid go around my panel. So I'm gonna start going upwards on the left hand side, across on the top, down on the right, across this way on the bottom. So that's how I'm gonna make, hopefully, it depends on, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna do that. I have enough fabric, so that's what's going on. Mm-hmm, Vicki says she's normally up here. Well, how, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate that. All right, so this gives you time to lay out some of your fabrics. You know, you wanted a couple introduce. You don't want all these like tones here together. You want to mix and match your tones. You want to you want to add a bright every now and again. Like maybe mix this down to here. You know. Keep your blacks and your tans and then this over to here and there and there. You know what I mean? Just have fun with it. Have fun with the whole thing. And the reason why I like the braid part of it, of the half hexy, is because it kind of reminded me of the spider web. And there looks like there's kind of half hexies in the spider web, right? So when you really think about it, it just kind of all played into the, the idea for me. So, okay. So let's sew a few of these together. We have a couple to work with and then we can uh, have some have some fun. Oh, sorry. Uh, well, with the panel, how is the border f size figured out? Oh, how many? I'm just, I'm, well, that's what's the beauty of this project being in a braid. You just lop it off wherever you need it to come to because you're just going up one side and then across. It doesn't have to match up. Like, there's no need for it to match up on any corner, right? Well, no. <laughs> You measure it, it's like 44, so you want to make sure that from the chop-off part to another chop-off part, you have like 44 or 42, depending on the side, right? So, yeah, do long sides and short. That's what I was, well, it's going to be a long side, short side, long side, short side. That's what I'm kind of going to do, so. Snowing in Billings, Montana. Yeah, see, I knew there was snow. <laughs> there's snow, I know there's snow. Okay, so let's let's do this one because we want that one to be a hole. Put that one up there. Okay, so here, line this up. Mm -hmm. Let's start making our little Halloween braid with our quilt. And I'm just going to try and finger press as we go along here, okay? And then it's going to go here. Oh, here. let me show you here. Sorry. I forgot. Pop stepped away even though I know he's right there beside me. And then we're just going to add that on top and that should fit right within that spot we need to, okay? Just sew those two long edges together and we just keep doing the flipping and the flopping and the flipping and the flopping. Why well, can't have it on camera? Why not? People don't want me to see me eat a chocolate bar on camera. <laughs> I'll put it here for you anyway. Oh, you put it there? Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Cheers. Where did she put it? I can't even see it. <laughs> it brings me a half a chocolate bar. <laughs> it doesn't put it within reach. <laughs> is Miss Ellie today? Is she here? I'm, I didn't see her. If she is here, hello, Miss Ellie. If I missed you, I'm sorry. All right, we're gonna line up our other one here. I got a nice gray. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, hello, 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 hello. Where are you going? All right, 
here, here, let me show you. See how it's coming along? Can you see that? Brownies right now. Oh, I made a pumpkin pie. It's probably not even cold enough or cool enough to, to show you, but by the end of the stream, somebody remind me to show you the pumpkin pie I made. So I'm trying to use up the pastry I made. So I made it, uh, the pumpkin pie disappeared. The first one disappeared pretty fast. And then I made a cherry pie, cherry raspberry pie. And that was a huge hit. That was one of Munchkin's apparently favorite pies now. It's a cherry raspberry pie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Hello, Sue Smith. Uh, I don't know. I, w I wasn't sure if I seen her, Sue. That's why I asked if, uh, if she was in the chat. Maybe her back was having issues. And did I sew this on the wrong way? I did not. Whew. Oh, okay. <laughs> I had a moment. I had a moment of, oh, oh, oh. Uh, why do I need sweets after eating lunch? I'm not sure, Uta. Ask Pop that. He seems to crave sweets. I'm not much of a, a sweet craver. I mean, I get my moments every now and again, but it usually has something to do with like period related, so. Do you need to do the cherry raspberry pie in the home at Hotel? <laughs> It turned out amazing, actually. I was like, oh, well, let's just put these two together and see what happens. <laughs> and Munch is like, that pie was awesome. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, sweet. <laughs> Bring it on. Good, good, good. Pop said he couldn't really taste the raspberry, but Munchkin said he could, so... And I didn't really mix them. I just kind of put one on the bottom and then one on top. So hoping to be able to have some defining flavors, but you know, especially after eating out. Uh, where did you get raspberries yet? Oh, they were, they were in it. It was just a can. It was the, the can um, pie stuff. That's all, nothing, nothing too exciting. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 I'm loving how this is coming together. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I can't wait to do some more here. I can, and I have to cut some more fabrics because I'm gonna run out shortly here because I want to mix and match as I'm going all the way around. I want to have some fun. I need to use some pieced pieces here too. I only got one pieced one in here. Yeah, you can use frozen. Yeah, for sure. We we don't have we, our raspberry bush was crap this year or crud. Sorry, I shouldn't, bad word. I apologize. Um, uh, it was really cruddy this year, so uh, I don't know why. We only had I don't know two or three pickings off of them, and we kind of ate them right away. I think we saved one little pickings that I did on a Sunday morning for. Um, oops, um, pancakes. I think I made raspberry pancakes or raspberry waffles. For some reason, I'm thinking it was the waffles I made instead, raspberry waffles. Um, and that was pretty much the last pickings we had of it. And I went out to go do some more and there really wasn't anything left. It was like the birds got it. What size hex you really did you use and how wide is this border on the bait? Oh, good question. Uh, it's about 13 inches untrimmed. Oh, sorry, 12, 12 and a half inches untrimmed. And it is the five, one, two, three, four, five. Well, just shy of five. So if you used a five by five square, you could get those triangles I was talking about as filler for the sides if you wanted to trying to make a quilt. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Let's use, let's see what we got here. Oh, we're running out of colors. We need to grab some more colors. Color, color, color. Okay, let's put this one on. Yes, it would, uh, Deanne, it would, you flip one one way and one the other and you get a little tiny strip left over in between. Yes, oh yes, it would definitely work on a layer cake. Definitely on a layer cake. I was gonna use the smaller one for this and I thought, well, that's just gonna make a tiny little braid. So that's not really gonna border the, out this panel the way I was hoping it would be bordered, right? You know, with the, being the Halloween, so. 
Okay, I got a question for you guys. Are you or is your community celebrating Halloween where you are? Because I've been approached by a couple of the moms asking me. They're not sure what to do. And, okay, you know me, or some, most of you who know me know me. I love Halloween. We've got lots of decorations. I go all out with glow sticks and candles and pumpkins and things in the yard and having a fire and the big chocolate bars and hot chocolate and whipping cream and, and, and you name it, like the whole kit and caboodle bang bang. And I'm not doing anything this year. Absolutely nothing. Because I don't want to encourage what's going on. I, there's no way I can protect myself, my family, or the children involved. So it's not happening here and it's sad, but that's, that's the way it is. That's what's going on in my house. No, no. Uh, it, it just doesn't seem to make any sense. Why? It, do, it, it makes no sense at all. It, it, it's like you're putting yourself in harm's way for no particular reason whatsoever. And, and I can't af af afford to bring that stuff into my house for the harmness of, of my, my, my husband, my son, myself, uh, you know, ev everything. It's just, it just, yeah. It's too dangerous. Yeah, exactly, Pat. It's just too dangerous. Just in case. I know I did think about that too, Mimi. I thought maybe I should just in case. But I, people know me. I go all out. So if I don't even have any of my displays up or not a fire going, then don't even bother knocking on my door. I, you know, maybe I'll put a, a, a bowl for those diehard people who know that maybe, just maybe, she might be harboring <laughs> some candy here. I mean, like the box of chips or something like that. But I'm not going to buy my chocolate bar. I'm going to wait till next year and go all out crazy. And hopefully we'll have some sort of containment over this. But I, yeah, I've been approached by a few parents asking, hey, do we know what's going on? I'm like, I don't know. Best to ask in the, the, the school group or a Facebook around here locally. You know, I just, I'm not even putting any decorations out because I, I don't feel encouraging it is a good thing. I know people are like, oh, but it's still Halloween, you still celebrate, put your decoration. I don't know. No trick or treating here? No, yeah, see, it, that just seems to be the wisest. It really, really does. I feel that we're just asking for trouble if we're doing it any other way. All right, I need to cut some more. But, oh, 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 hold on. Oh, come here, come here, you. Actually, you probably put this one out. Let's put this one on, and then we'll cut some more. Okay. Yeah, I go all out, like all out. I have a lot of fun. I'm encouraging people to come by and chat and hang out. Even by the, just hanging about the fire, warm up. Because most day, last year, we it snowed. It was, it was rain, freezing rain, and then snowed. And by the time we woke up November 1st, there was like three inches of snow on absolutely everything, including all of our decorations, the pumpkins, you know, everything else like that. So, uh, you know, and I'm not fine with that. I'm not complaining about that. But, you know, we go all out. We have a lot of fun. There, there was one year uh, we met, we had Mars bars with uh, eight pack of lollies and a spider ring. So we laid the lollies out so they look like spider legs on the Mars bar. <laughs> so we had like Munchkin and I had a heck of a lot of fun putting that together. You know, so everybody got us a spider Mars bar, right? And a ring, plus eight lollipops, plus a Mars bar, and a hot chocolate. Like, that's how much I love Halloween, man. <laughs> All right, isn't that beautiful? We're going to cut some more. We're going to cut some more. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's going to look so lovely. Coming up the side here. Isn't that... I think so. I think so. All right, let's cut some more. Cut some more. Cut some more. Cut some more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Now, I had a kind of a question about this one because this is all I have. So, is this a gopher or a nofer? Because <laughs> I figured I could probably get to. Oh, no. It was only going to be. If I got that, I might be able to get another one over here. So I could probably get three out of this one. So is this a, a no or a go for this fabric here? 
What do we think, peoples? A gopher? Yeah, gopher Deanne? And I even thought of making a shoot, like a shoot to shoot down the candy into the bag. And then I thought, how can I guarantee the kids aren't going to put their faces up to the shoot and yell into it going, happy Halloween. You know, like, I can't. I can't guarantee this stuff can't happen. I thought of it all. I thought of it all. Trust me. This mind has been going to try and celebrate it, but I, I just can't. Go for it. Okay. Awesome. I just, I don't know. I want to, but I don't want to at the same time, just for the, the health risk of it, you know, so... There's no green. <laughs> There's no green involved, sass. <laughs> yeah, because that's all I have of this little piece. I'm like, oh, that'd be nice to be able to put this in because it's like the sunflower. Or, you know what I mean? Or like a big flower, which goes with the whole fall thing. So... I know, it's so fabulous this year, Kelly. And it's a blue moon and everything. Like for Pete's sakes, it's my, my favorite flipping holiday. <laughs> I'm very passionate, can you tell? Ooh, I just fit another one here. Ooh, just by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Sweet. I know, on a Saturday and a blue moon, and it's gonna, supposed to be relatively nice. I'm like, oh, darn you, COVID. Ruin my favorite holiday. I'm sure that wasn't its whole task to set out to in life, but can't say I don't feel that way. <laughs> All right, try and put the ones I've already cut off to the side here. Let's get another one out of this one. You prefer Christmas? Oh, I like how. I, well, it's just because of all the costumes, and I like all the little munchkins, and you know me. I'm a big goof. I'm a big goof nut. And I'm sure lots of people are going to be disappointed they're not getting their big candy bar this year. <laughs> I'm going to find some rebellious, maybe find some eggs in my house. Hope not. Just for the safety of all. A few friends are, are, are saying they're just going to, you know, have little, like, a hide-and-seek sort of candy thing in their backyard with the kids and a couple other little in their circle. I thought that was a fantastic idea. You know, keep it, keep it having fun at home. Make, make some games. Have a costume party. Have a costume dance party. You know, be creative. Hello, Janice. What's going on? Where's Miss Lois today? Has Lois been on? I just missed her. Oh, she's in there. Okay, I'm sorry, Lois. I missed you. Oh, yeah, that's right. She's talking about Pat. Wasn't she? Oh, no, I was reading her post. That's what it was on the CNC machine. That's what it was. Well, it's good to know that he's back at work. So that's good news. That is fantastic news. Because I know Miss Janice Wheeler, or Jan Wheeler, is one of Lois's little sheeps. From her flock of, in Florida. <laughs> Florida flock. <laughs> I like that. You're the Florida flock. Super cute. Mm -hmm. okay, I don't think we're going to get as many as I was hoping out of that batch, but that's okay. We got some pretty colors. Okay, there we go, and there we go. When the ruler hits the floor. Is it really 2.17? Oh my gosh, where does the time go? Why do you people make the time go by so fast? Stop it! Stop it right now! All right, scrap your pile. All right, let's cut a couple of these guys. Yeah, this came from the basket one, and I think it goes well here for some reason. I really do. All right, let's put those over there. Let's chop those up. Give this a little press. No, mm, uh, great movie about Arabia on in TV. Oh, I like, I like them. Oh, that's be nice. Well, it's completely opposite to the country I live in, so yeah, I don't mind watching that. 
I know, no right, right? Flies, flies, flies. Uh, is there going to be a 12 hours? I'm not sure. I don't think we've reached the uh, uh, the goal. The the goal to, to get the 12 hours for um, October. I And I wouldn't do it on Halloween night anyways. So if anything, we'd have to do it by next weekend. So... Should be able to get two out of this. Oh yeah, sweet. See, sometimes when fabrics you don't think really go in the kit and you take it out and you substitute something else and then you wonder what you're ever gonna do with that fabric that you took out of the kit. Oh well, this is what I'm doing with one of them. It's the basket quilt. I didn't like it. I didn't like this color in there for some reason. It's not that I didn't like the color. I did like the color. I just didn't like it in that project. I chose more of a subdued tan instead of this bright mustard yellow. And I think it went very well in the completed project. And you have that choice as your own artistic designer when it comes to your fabrics of what you want to include and what you don't. So. I don't think there's green in there. There's no green in there. <laughs> I'm going to get two out of that. Is that going to be wide enough? Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, my computer is not up and I'm not. Oh, yeah, because your, yours is out for kaputsies. Yours decided to take a little napsies, or permanent napsies. No, so it doesn't look like we'll be doing one for uh, October. That's okay. Just aim to one for November. Pop and I's birthday. Okay. Do, do do. I think those are all scrappy bits. Let's get some out of this. <laughs> I do. I do. Hello, Vicky Hibbs. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. We're just cutting some fabrics. We're putting a lovely little half hexy braid together to line as a border piece to this lovely panel, Halloween panel. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna go all the way around. We're gonna go up and across and down and around, like make the braid go all the way around the quilt project. So we're just cutting a few more so we can get some more piecing done. And I said to Pop, we probably wouldn't finish it today, so we'll continue it next week, as well as we'll do a um, vote on the eyes, m nose, and mouth for the big pumpkin, uh, what we're going to put on there via applique. We'll do that as a vote. So you'll have to type in A, B, or C when it comes to the eyes, and A, B, or C when it comes to the nose, and A, B, or C when it comes to the mouth and the majority will win. So you guys are creating our pumpkin next weekend. Put a nice big face on it. Oh, hold on, maybe can I get one there? Nope, oh, I knew it, I knew it. So I think that'll be fun. You guys get to design the pumpkin for us and it'll hang in the quilt shop for like ever. Every Halloween it'll come out. It'll be designed by you guys. We'll have, have three little choices to choose from for each thing, for the, face, for the nose and the eyes and the mouth. Oh, was that gonna fit there? Oh yeah, there was a couple. There was a couple gonna fit in there.
Well, happy birthday, Lena. Oh, happy birthday. Next weekend. Oh, okay, I'll try and remember. Hopefully you're here, if you're here. If you're not here, I'm going to say happy birthday right now, and I hope you get spoiled rotten, and you have a fabulous day. And I hope you get to come and hang out with us at some point in time, if that's what you are, if that's what you want. And if that's what you want, then I hope that's what you get. Ooh, just that is really trimmy there. There we go. All right, so let's do. What do we have here? Let's. A couple more of these, or a couple of these. I don't think we've done any of these before. No, we haven't. Mm -hmm. Okay, does it matter? Yeah, I think it matters. I think it matters that these little scoops are going in the right direction, or at least in this way. <laughs> There's a, a band that Pop really loves to listen to. It's called Home Free. I'm sure, I know we've talked about them before, and I know some of you know about them. If not, go check them out on Facebook or YouTube, and they are amazing. And I've got one of their songs stuck in my head. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't shake it out. <laughs> We were blasting it last week and prepping all the stuff for turkey and tidying up the kitchen. Of course, dealing with a broken dishwasher. That was no fun, let me tell you. The dishwasher is RIP, let me tell you. Rest in peace, dishwasher. We tried for three days to fix that thing. We reset it, dealt with the error issue it was giving, and then reset it and give another error issue, and then we'd reset it. And in the meantime, it would pee all over the floor and do the drain into the floor in the kitchen and make a mess. Oh my gosh. For three days. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we dealt with that dishwasher. Let me tell you, <laughs> I was about done with it. So rest in peace, dishwasher. So I've been doing the dishes all week. But we've had a few takeouts, so that's been very helpful on the dish part. Because <laughs> nobody wants to do dishes around here. So the dishwasher is like seven years old, so it's kind of like... And the, even the air now says it's this, this, or this, and there's no guarantee, and we can't fix it ourselves. So it's kind of like, do we call somebody in to deal with it? How much is that going to cost? Is it cheaper just to buy a new one? You know what? It's cheaper to buy a new one. I, we haven't bought one yet because I, you know, they're flipping expensive. I'm not sure about you, but have you checked out a new dishwasher? <laughs> oh, thank you, Janine. Sorry, Janine. Appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Big hugs to you. Oh. Oh, all right. Take a moment. I'm going to have some tea. My son said you had big crossing guard energy. <laughs> I'm assuming that was for me. <laughs> Same boat with the clothes washer. <clears throat> I said to Pop, you know, I as much as I don't want to do the dishes for next month, but, you know, Black Friday's coming up. Maybe we should just kind of wait and see what happens. Like, if we all work out together, we can get the dishes done. As much as it's tedious, nobody wants to do the darn things, but... You know, sometimes you just got to suck it up, buttercup, right? Just get her done. Get her done. Channel the cable guy. Get her done. All right. 
Well, that's what I mean. I'm, I'm, I'm patient. I don't, I'm, I don't have the money to spend. So, um, you know, uh, I, and I, I'm very, very, very frugal to the point where Pop calls me cheap, but we won't, we won't believe him because we know the truth. Frugal, frugal's good. All right, so we're not even halfway there on the placements. Okay. All right, let's let's do this one. A YouTube video of a police woman directing traffic and she danced her moves. I thought you. <laughs> nope. I'm not allowed to dance. <laughs> I can wave. I'm not allowed to dance. I'm not allowed to wear costumes. Not allowed to wear. Well, it used to be not allowed to wear masks. Now, I'm, you know, it's not that I'm required to, but, you know, those, those munchkins don't get close enough to me, so I make sure. Stay over there. All right. Let's just add some beautiful pieces here. Keep building this up so we can at least uh, trim it and add it to one side, at least before the end of today. Like, for Pete's sakes, let's get some work done, shall we? And if anybody was curious who I was talking about at the beginning of the, the stream here when I said, Hello, boys and girls. <laughs> was it? Uh, northern Saskatchewan boy who streams to you, uh, not streams to you, does videos for YouTube. It's called Trap Lines and In Lines. And he's from Northern Saskatchewan and he's just the funniest kid. He makes me laugh so hard. So if you want to giggle about a Northern Saskatchewan accent, and he's got a little bit of a potty mouth, but hey, you know, I, I forewarned you. Uh, it doesn't bother me because of the way he's using it. Uh, and he's, he's hilarious. He's under 20. He's built himself his own little home grid, uh, off grid house and homestead with his dog Cougar. This is a, like a black lab. It's just, the dog's adorable. And, uh, I just, I find him very entertaining. So trap lines and in lines. I don't even know the kid's first name. I just, he just makes me laugh. Best Buy closed up here. I don't know if they're even open here. That's a good one. Off to work. Catch okay, bye, Tanya. Big hugs to you. Oh, what, what? Oh, okay. I was like, I know I was there not too long ago dealing, oh, well, close to it with Munchkin's car, but uh, I don't actually remember looking over to see if it was actually open, open. Like, open, open, open. <laughs> yes, well, Sophie does a really good job of cleaning up the dishes, let me tell you, <laughs> to prep them for the washing. <laughs> I gave her my my uh, cherry uh, raspberry pie plate the other day that had some smush all over it. So I said, here, Sophie, clean this up so it's easier for Mama to clean. <laughs> she was happy to oblige. She was happy. She was happy to help Mama. <laughs> I said to Pop, it's so clean, we can just put it back in the cupboard. He gave me that look. Of course I wouldn't. I would not put it back in the cupboard. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Best Buy has sales on appliances all the time. Oh, yeah? Well, I know Pop's, but he was looking, and we were looking at a few, and it has to be, like, quiet, too, because of the way we run it. We don't want to be disturbed by it. Like, the house is small. It's not, we don't have a big house. We're only, like, 1,200 square feet, and that's, like, including the basement. We've got tiny house. I didn't say tiny house. I'd say small house. Small er house. All right, what do we got for... For, for placement here. We got, we got, we got, we got, we got. Ooh, not big enough. Ooh, maybe one one or two more. Let's uh let's pick and choose here because they're gonna get lopped off. So hmm. I just put one of those there. Let's 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 
We'll do this one in a gray. Yeah, let's do that one in a gray. No. Mm. Black, green, black. Where's the black? The black's already in there. Mm. All right, let's 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 do, let's work it. Let's work it. What do we got here? <laughs> and Pop's not lying. <laughs> Trust me, I feel bad. I feel bad that most of the house is the quilt shop. But that's why we're aiming towards its own space. And we have been for over a year now. Or about a year now. Because next month is the first celebratory of the first 12 hours. And Miss, Miss Lois and her husband Pat were here to help us out that. <laughs> yeah, you got no idea, Allison. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Nanny Nanny Moose. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> okay, if we left that there. Still think we might need a little to top off that. So what? 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 Where's the gold one? Do they have a gold one? I oh, had a gold one. Oh, there we do. Okay, let's put that there. And then we'll lop it off. Measure the panel, and then we'll lop off this one side to go to the one side of the panel. And then we'll add it. Okay, let's give this a press. And then we'll measure our panel. And then measure our section of braid and get it nicely the same size. Okay. Oh, it's already bound. Well, it is sort of. It, it's on there. It just needs, oops, needs to be <laughs> flipped. It's there. It's there. It just needs to be done. I just sewed it on just before the stream, actually. So. <sighs> It's a mix. It's a it's a mix. It's got three different colors on it. So. <laughs> it's all ready. It just needs to be flipped and stitched. I just didn't have enough time before the stream to do it. That was the one from last year. I wanted to make sure it got done before we finished the one from this year. <laughs> Sometimes life gets away with you. Okay, so let's move this up here. Flip you around because you're making me nervous. Where's our panel? Panel must be in here somewhere. There it is. Well, I want to trim off this extra bit here, so let's grab my ruler. So I have an accurate measurement. Oh yes, oh yes he is. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> In fact, my my uh, neighbor and handyman Jefferson popped by the other day. I told him, I said, hey, for you and your wife, I have a jar of peach jam for you. He said, oh, I'm heading out of town at like 7.30 or because uh, oh, I was up early at 7.30. Is it okay if I swing by? I'm like, yeah, sure. No problem. So I just let the chickens out <laughs> and uh, he was listening to them cock a doodle doo and stuff. He goes, oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> I'm like, do you want one? <laughs> It's like, no, Julie won't let me have any. <laughs> That's his wife. <laughs> no more chickens, apparently. Uh, we'll wear fabrics from So Yeah, I got to find a neat pattern. Oh, very nice, Allison. <gasps> That'll be exciting. Okay, so this comes to 44. All right, let's lay this out and see if we can get a flat to flat on 44. Okay, 
Okay, so that would be... Because you got to trim this. You're, you're going to get some of the fabrics, but not all of it. Do I have 44? Ooh. Ooh, I do. Just, 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 just. Holy, good guessing on that one. Okay, so here. And, oops, jumping over my slipper. And of course, those can always go to extra bits for other bits. Now to line this up here. Oh, Nadine leaving. Oh, bye, Nadine. Big hugs. Big hugs to you. Thank you for your card. She sent me a card the other day. That was very nice for her. Oh, I forgot to trim on the both sides. Oops. Forgot to trim on the long side, not just the short side. Like the candy piece at the end? <laughs> There's a couple candy pieces. Not a lot, though. That's why I still wanted to be able to use them in this project. So, because I'm like, what else am I going to use them for? I'll also put them in this, uh, this quilt project. Be creative with this fabric I have, and what can I do with it? Well, by golly, this is what I did with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's pin this baby on. Love, so yeah, I don't even know who they are. So, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm allowed not to know. Love home free and they are not bad on the... <laughs> You're right there, Barbara. <laughs> home free is an awesome acoustic band. They do a lot of covers, but they also do a lot of their own songs. And they got some beautiful original ones that really like emotionally connect with Pop and I. So, you know, so because they're kind of the same generation we are. So we, we, we connect because of certain songs or certain ways or certain attitudes or whatever. All right. Who's cleaning up this mess? Mm. Mm, yes, I did, Aunt B. Thank you. Oh, where is that? Oh, you know, I think that's in the office on my desk. I did. Thank you very much. That was a lovely pattern. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not exactly sure where I put it. But I did, I did show it to Pop, too. Thank you so much for, for being so generous and, and sending that to us. You both popped clear. <laughs> Lois, it should be right over. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're having ribs and rice for dinner tonight. What's everybody else having? We were going to have pork chops, but I changed my mind. So we're having ribs and rice. I'm going to make uh, sweet and sour uh, ribs. And it's the sweet and sour sauce from uh, leftover, or like from uh, like sweet and sour chicken balls. I'm gonna mix that with some barbecue sauce and a little bit of Worcestershire's and some onion. And yeah, I'm gonna make my own little sweet and sour. Maybe big old squish of ketchup. Who knows? I'm sure it'd be delicious. Get all up in your face. And then just some plain rice. <laughs> All right, let's press this and then we'll show you what we've been making so far. We're trying to. You'll take Walt with you. <laughs> <laughs> the long arm is now spoken for. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Kind of 
Okay, let's see what this looks like. And that's just down one side, right? You can, if you want, you don't have to do it this big. You can just add it as an accent piece. You can do one side in the bottom, one side in the top, just the two sides, the top and the bottom, whatever works for you and maybe the place that it needs to be, right? Is that cute? So now we need to kind of measure what we have for the top here, which after this needs a trim, let's trim this first and then we'll measure. And then we need to do across the top. Oh, Virgie, happy you're here. Thank you, thank you everybody. I appreciate that, I really do, I really do. Glad you're, you're all so keen on this idea. Now this works with really any sort of panel. Just gotta grab some matching fabrics, right? I'm just using Halloween-y stuff because this is a Halloween-y panel. But if it was Christmas, use Christmas fabrics. If it was a kid panel, use kid colors or kid fabrics. I mean, all right, now let's measure. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it, really do. I really, really do, thank you. So 36, we need to make sure we have 36 across the top. So we wanna make sure our braid, braid from the flat edge where we're gonna trim it comes here all the way across the top of this and then our next piece is gonna be from the top of that braid, braid all the way down to the end piece and then that piece will be all the way there to the bottom of the finish end there. So that's if we wanted to do all four sides, right? So. Oh, bye, Jen. See you later. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you, Mary. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm no, I have no idea, actually, how close we are. I can't see. Eight, six, five. So less than, less than four. Three, three and a bit. Three and a bit away. All right, so let's... Uh, did I not cut any of those? I thought I did. Let's cut some of those. Let's press this one. Because I don't think I cut that one. Nope, I didn't. And let's press this guy here so I can cut some of those out so we can have some different colors for the top. Mm -hmm. And I tried to really utilize all my stash. These are uh, four strips sewn together here. And I was hoping to get at least a few cuts, maybe four out of the hexes, half hexes out of this, this fabric here by sewing it all together. And I thought it added a bit of neat dimension, how some are going up and down and some are going across. So, beef and potato burritos, have it tonight. Oh, that's nice, Hildy, I like that. Oh, that would be the lovely if I could find the smaller one. I had it in my hand when I was prepping all the fabric and then like magic. You know how that happens. It went poof, not in my hands anymore. Maybe frozen pizza? <laughs> I do not like frozen pizza. Not my favorite at all. Definitely four. Might be able to get five. Okay. Oh, I mean, tortillas on pizzas last night. Very nice. Or pizzas on tortillas last night. Duh. Sorry. I was get. I was getting there. I was getting there. Just took me a little while. Okay, 
Let's see, do I have a collection enough to play with, I hope? Oh, I want to cut this one out too, sorry. There we go. Sorry? Oh, Pat, thank you. Thank you so much, honey. Big hugs. I hope you saw what I did to your quilts and you're okay with it. <laughs> I'm assuming by that you're okay with it. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Okay. I was like, I know I just put a whole bunch over here, and now I don't. <laughs> like, I just lost them all. <laughs> like a dork. Okay, here, 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 and here, and here, and here. Here and here. Nope. Yes, yes, yes. Nope. 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 Yes. Yes. Don't think that was big enough. No, it wasn't. Oh, oh, oh. I have to do that one. And, oh, there we go. Lovely. Bingo. Bingo was his name, oh. Was it? Was it really? Or was it Bob and we just all called him Bingo? You tell me. Riddle me that, Batman. Riddle me that. It was actually Joe. It was actually Joe. It was? <laughs> Cotton Eye Joe? <laughs> Do 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 the cotton eye Joe. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Pop, he's so funny. He making me rap. Make me rap so hard. You love the all oh, wonderful. That makes me so happy. It really does. You're happy, I'm happy. Okay, let's cut these three out and then we'll make our top. I want to really utilize as much as this beautiful uh, orange as possible. So I'm going to stick it, actually I think I'm going to stick it on the bottom, not stick it on the top. I really want to make sure I've got as much as that beautiful orange stripe as possible. All right, that's that stack. Let's uh, make a mess with what we got going on here. I love them. Yes, I know. I'm so happy. I really am. Makes me a very happy camper. <clears throat> I'm a glamper than a camper? Yeah. <laughs> There's popsicles in there. Oh, right there. Right in front of you. I took them out of the box just so it'd be easier to store them. So. Yeah, they're the real fruit ones, though. Okay. I know you'd appreciate those better. Appreciate those more, not better. Sorry? I know, it's a little warm here, too. The sun's really kind of warmed up the house. But that that's okay. I'm fine with that. Okay, so... Let's start off with one of these. And... One of these. No. One of these. No. One of these. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So this is how you start. If you want to know how to start a braid, this is how you start. You take two half hexes. You, you take the one that you want to be on the left, on the left, one you want to be on the right, on the right, and you take the one on the right, and you butt it up to the bottom of the left. Okay, just like that. And that's how you start a braid. I know it seems odd because it's not a full seam, but it is, it is, it's all good, it's all good. And then you stack that one there, and then you stack that one there, and so on and so forth, and then you have yourself a lovely braid. Okay, that is the easiest way to start a braid. And you have to think of this. The ones you're starting off with first 
are gonna oh thank you donna faye big hugs oh my gosh you guys really want this 12 hour <laughs> it's gonna get lopped off you're gonna miss you're gonna be missing some pieces it's not gonna be full hexes you'll get a lot of this one but maybe not so much of this one okay depending on how you cut it you could cut it a little higher a little lower whatever you know whatever makes you happy but that's how you how you start okay I have, I love how one word can send Laurelyn into song. What, what's the one word, Deborah? <laughs> A supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? Pardon? Oh, oh, just one, oh, okay, one word. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> yes, I'm sure the noise pop. <laughs> Thank you so much, Donna Faye. Big, big hugs to you. You are by far the largest contributor to this channel, and I greatly appreciate it. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you very, very much, Miss Donna Faye. Everyone who helps us out, we greatly appreciate it, and we thank you very, very much. Go building away. Yes, we all appreciate exactly, Gwendy, because the ones who who um, can't contribute or don't have the time or the money, but have the time to to spend, you know, like here, that you know, they greatly appreciate it as well. They, they benefit from your bonuses. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, that's looking pretty. That's looking pretty. Let's put a gray. Let's put a gray here. Let's put a gray. So we needed what? Thirty-three? Was it? I think we. I think we said thirty-three, didn't we? Sorry. <coughs> Sorry, tickle. <coughs> well, when's your birthday there, Miss Donna Faye? Is it closer to Papa and I? All 24. I knew you were. I thought you were right in between us. That's right. <coughs> Sorry, I got a tickle. <coughs> uh, tickly do. <clears throat> there we go. Much better. That's not going to do it. Here. Ooh, there we go. Let's put that. Is that too dark? I think that's... Oh, no, that's not too dark. That's good. I have a workshop. <laughs> Hello, Mindy. How you doing? Uh, we're working on a braid. Hold on. Let me finish this one piece, and I will show you. Yeah, it'll be a B-Day celebration stream. That's a good idea. <coughs> Have to be the 28th. The after Papa and I's. Because I think his is, his is on a. How could his be on a Tuesday if mine's on a Thursday? That doesn't make any sense. I thought he said his is on a Tuesday. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> My mistake. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I don't know what set me off. Yikes. <coughs> okay, better. Better, but still weird. <coughs> Definitely the end of November celebration, for sure. I'll be 49, my last years of 40s. Pop will be 48. Yeah, I don't know what's, I, just a tickle for some reason, Kim, and now I'm okay. It's, it's gone now. I don't know what's happening. I'm getting old. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I'm falling apart. Somebody get the glue. <laughs> Need the crazy glue. 
Mm, yeah, I don't know. It's just a, a weird little coffee tickle, and now it's gone. It's not even there anymore. Weird. First, my, our sister, my, well, my sister-in-law, pop sister, is the 24th, and hers will be, ooh, 19 years? 19 years? I think. No. Sorry? Yeah, 19 then. Wow, holy moly, what a lifetime ago. <clears throat> Remember when your, your mom and, and Jim picked us up in the Seattle airport? <laughs> they drove across the border with that. We were so tired, having like a oh dark 30 flight from out, out of Philadelphia, all the way over to Seattle, Washington, because it was cheaper to fly into Seattle than it was into Vancouver from living in, we were living in the States at the time. That's right. And we stayed at my mom's friend's, Lori. She was actually like a second mom to us as we grew up. She actually, <laughs> this woman was lucky. She had like horseshoes up her bum, let me tell you. Uh, when it came to some things. Unfortunately, she passed away of cancer at a very young age. So she wasn't very lucky there. Uh, but she won via, you know, those home lotto tickets you buy. She won an apartment uh, on uh, Granville Island or across from Granville Island in Vancouver. It was an absolutely beautiful, stunning apartment. It was on like the 38th floor, 42nd floor. It was like way up there. It was absolutely gorgeous. And it had it came with all the amenities, you name it, shish, shish, kabang, kabam, and like three parking spots and, you know, prime, prime turf. Anyway, she actually rented out two spots that paid for a bunch of other stuff. Anyways, so, uh, yeah, she, so she won this apartment. So we actually ended up staying there uh, for when uh, Pop's sister got married. So that was very nice. She was there too, so we were able to spend time with her, and she really got to spend time with Munchkin and and get to know Munchkin and stuff like that. So it was it was absolutely fabulous the way it worked out. Um, so and then and then she wins the apartment in Vancouver, and then wins a house in Calgary the next year. <laughs> yeah, a big house in Calgary uh, for the the home lotto thingy majiggy. So so I said she was very lucky in some ways, but she she was not in others. <coughs> Oops. But that I do remember. That was good fun. <laughs> I know my birthday falls on Thanksgiving this year, Miss Donna Fay. You guys be all having a turkey, and I'll be like, send me pictures. <laughs> I want to have a turkey too. I mean, I may just have a turkey just because. Just cause I can't and I just might. Hopefully we'll arrive sometime Friday morning bearing no other emergency. Oh, fingers crossed, girlfriend. Fingers crossed for you and your family. Uh, why is the basketball court wet? Because the players dribble on it. <laughs> Deborah, you're so funny. <laughs> Thank you, Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. They dribble, 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 dribble. Only for three seconds and then they got to pass. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, that's all you're allowed to, aren't you? What is, what is it then? Well, I swear there was only something you were allowed to only do for three seconds. Hello, Miss Flower. How are you? How you doing?
Thanks for subbing, Miss Ida. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Not a problem, but you're aware of audio is not in sync with the video. Uh, I think that's probably an issue, not necessarily an ish me there, Donna. I'd say refresh. You share a birthday with Pop there, Miss Nancy. He'll be 48. I'm sure he doesn't mind me telling him. Working on Christmas. Very nice. Very nice. Excellent. Getting ahead of the game. We needed what, um, 33, wasn't it? I don't think we're there yet, no, but we, we kind of need to know how much more we need to go. Oh, not too much. We got one, two, three, four, maybe four. Let's get some bright oranges up in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, Mimi. Mm, I wonder why. Uh, adopted 32nd block when launched in 1967-1966, switching to the NBA's 24-second length for its final season. Oh. I thought you were only allowed to dribble for a certain period of time, and then you had to pass the ball. So. <coughs> Sorry. Yes, thanks to YouTube. Sometimes refreshing helps it, especially if, you know, things get delayed. Things One thing go, that's delayed or downloaded faster or uploaded faster, I don't know. <laughs> yes, celebrate, Nancy, celebrate, exactly. Celebrate good times, come on. Do, 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 do. Every birthday should be a celebration. Yep, this will be the, the this will be the last year of my forties. It's okay. I'm prepared. I really am. It's all right. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> what I was thinking. I have no idea. I don't, I, I don't know. I thought you were only allowed to dribble for a certain amount of time before you actually had to pass the ball to another player. You can't just stand there dribbling forever. You know? I thought you only had a certain amount of time. <laughs> I'm going to believe you, Jackie. I'm going to believe you 100%. <laughs> Alright, should be able to press and hopefully have our 33 to go across our top. And then we'll see what that looks like. Thank you very much. It was a little sh shorter than Pop is, was hoping for. <laughs> but <clears throat> nonetheless, it feels good and I know it'll grow, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, perfect. That's lots. That's lots and lots and lots. Okay, let's press this out. All bye, Lisa. Take care. Big hugs to you. Have a fabulous day. Have a fabulous day. I was afraid she would miss the Thanksgiving, uh, Thanksgiving dinner. So she cooked one the Sunday before. I made my appearance Monday morning. Not, in, <laughs> not for both me and the turkey. <laughs> not enough room. No, of course not. She ate the turkey. <laughs> That's cute. That's a cute story. <laughs> No room for the baby, gotta have it. <laughs> we want my turkey leftovers. <laughs> Best is yet to come. Okay, I'm gonna believe you too. I'm gonna believe you too there, Judy. 
All right, let's move this up. Spread this out. Confirm that we need 33. Make sure we're going that little crop right here. I'm going to show you right here. This camera right here is right at your zero line, even a little bit past it. You can, you can cut a little bit into what you got going on just because you want to make sure it's nice and flat. Follow lines on your board with this flat edge of the hexi. Okay. Let's confirm that we need 33 first. Here, oh no, I'm glad. Ooh, I need another piece. <clears throat> it was 37. It's 30, 36, 37, 30. Looks like 36 and a half. Let's try it halfway. Yeah, 36 and a half. Okay, so we need another piece here. Let's do this one because I don't mind lopping that off. Okay, so let's piece that and then we can lop it. Yeah, I, I'm with you there and I don't think anybody's going anywhere. At least I don't think it's a safe choice. I mean, I really don't. <laughs> I got two turkey dinners. <laughs> That's lucky. <laughs> and a baby. <laughs> Two turkey dinners and a baby. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Back to work. I will catch the replay on all. There we go. Oh, yeah. Wonderful, Carol. Fantastic. Glad you got your t shirt. Wonderful. Okay, now 36 and a half is where we needed a cut. Okay, so let's move ours up. Make sure that little crop where the fabrics are meeting are beyond my line. Line this up here for 36 and a half. There, and then down over here on this end. Perfect. And these little bits can all just get put towards another block if we throw desire. <clears throat> We'll sew this on and then we'll end this project for today. We'll continue it next week as well as make the face for our extra large pumpkin that we have here. We're going to make two big eyes, a big nose, and a big mouth to be able to applique on that before it gets quilted up. Okay. And you guys are going to have the choice of what color eye or what type of eyes and what type of nose and what type of mouth by doing an ABC vote in the chat. Okay. And I'll have them all prepped and ready to go. And we'll finish off this project and we'll work on that big hap or big face. I don't want to say happy face because I don't know if it's going to be happy or not uh, for the pumpkin. Big, big face. I want a big face. I want the biggest pumpkin face I've ever made. And I am quite the pumpkin carver, let me tell you. I was in the paper. What do you mean what stream? Next week? Oh, well, because you got baby. You got baby coming. We'll talk about you. How's that? I want a big face, Lois. <laughs> I want a big, big face. <laughs> I was going to say big happy face, but who knows? It may not be happy. It may be angry or sad or we're going to have three choices and I'll have them all ready. I'll have all, like what we, like I'll cut it out. <laughs> you 
You're so funny, Lois. Crack me up. One big face. <laughs> oh, but nice big face on that pumpkin. I'm not carving a pumpkin this year, so I'm making a face for that one. I'm very excited. I was hoping we were going to get there today, but I had a feeling we weren't going to. That's okay. No worries. We're not going anywhere. It's always next week. No stressy stress. Just have fun fun. No stressy stress. Nope, no green. No green. Actually, there's a tiny bit in that pumpkin, but you know, you'd still like it no matter what their size. <laughs> Fondue, <gasps> chocolate and cheese. That sounds good. That sounds good. It's been a long time since I had a cheese or a chocolate fondue. I was trying to think of when the last time I had a chocolate fondue. It was somebody's party. I think Munchkin and I were hanging out near the fondue fountain the whole night. <laughs> Actually, I was trying to remember. Maybe a second. Maybe? Maybe not. <laughs> I could use some glow in the dark thread to uh, attach it to uh, um, uh, applique it on for sure. The, the eyes and stuff, because I got glow in the dark red, uh, uh, sorry, orange and d glow in the dark green. Well, you, UV, UV, blue light, blue light sensitive, it glows, glows in the blue lights. All right, here we go, folks. And if you found that was big enough for your project, then stop there. If you wanted it wider and not taller, you could have just done both sides. If you wanted it long and lean, you could have just done the top and the bottom. Right? But if you go all the way around on this one, you're going to end up with like a 50 by, I don't know, 60. So I think it looks very pretty. Very pretty. And then we'll do the other one. It comes down from here all the way down to the other end. But you don't have to. You could just add a black border on this one, on this side, maybe make it two, three inches, four inches, and finish it off. It doesn't have to be fancy McPancy. You don't have to go all the way around. You don't have to do anything besides what you want to do, right? Oh, it's cute. It looks really good. Are nice. It's looking nice. I'm very, very nice. I'm very happy with it. All right. So I'll get some strips sewn together and we'll get them ready to attach next week as well as get my eyes, nose, and mouth sorted out for the big pumpkin here. Let's show them off one more time or one time because I don't think we showed them off in a while. But that is our big pumpkin that we're going to face decorate with some eyes, nose, and a mouth. Okay. I think it's going to look amazing. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us today. I don't think it's going to stay. <laughs> there we go. Sophie says, bye, everybody. <laughs> She's so cute. She's so cute. I love her, Sophie. Oh, camera froze. <laughs> Anybody have any questions about this? Anybody have any questions about this project? And I just used a half hexi ruler to get me to here. Okay? It's not hard. And just what you can do with some scraps of your fabric, you can piece things together. To me, it kind of reminded me of the spider web itself. So why not do the braid, right? Thank you everybody for hanging out with us today. Big hugs to you. Uh, join us on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern where we're gonna continue working on our current uh, dragon project for cross stitching. It's really cute, it's come along super fast. It's gonna be amazing. And um, yeah, and join us, please join us. Come hang out with us. Don't forget to hit your notifications so you don't miss out any of the live streams and you just never know. Could have surprise ones coming up. We're kind of tricksy that way. 
Have a great week, everybody. Big hugs to you. And uh, thanks for hanging out with us today. Hopefully this inspired you to use one of your panels with some of your fabric stash to make something just as beautiful as this is turning out to be right now. Big hugs.